same this conference category. will now be recorded how to automate a group of elements how to validate a group of elements and we'll see today also and this one is again you, you take the same scenarios and uh, let me see here the scenarios need to go to automation scenarios and i have given the urls that's why we need to use this automation scenarios next this is the one top 250 links so this top 250 links just analyze so you have 250 links in particular table so from that table i need to access so this uh, i want this link name and the uh, link url i want <laughs> and see that there is a tooltip also so i want to fetch a tooltip also so this is the uh, next test case we are going to do first of all try to fetch all these links in this section how can you fetch all these links means you have to construct an xpath that represent all the links xpath so you should give a, if you write a xpath that should give us entire links count 250 links count so let's see first an, analyze the what is the xpath so inspect element and how the structure is there and you can first analyze the structure so this is the a tag right a tag and you have a table so it's a table it's a table onwards it is starting so table t body and tr the first tr first tr is representing and td2 a so the a so td2 a and it is giving if tr2 if you give second second link third link so it means the change is happening in the tr place so that tr place only change is happening so you can get this x path you can construct or you can copy this x path copy this x path that i have given already see in our blog also i have provided that you can see that so this is the one double forward slash table square bracket data color name chart 250 movie so this is the one Ooh. can you see here t table data color name data color name this attribute chart I found top 250 movie. This value based on that I'm drilling down from this is the my parent. I'm drilling down. So this is representing entire section. So till TR if I give, and you can see that it will list out the entire links in this section only. See that if I construct it will show double forward slash. Let me take this value so that it will be easy for us. let's construct the things properly then you will get a uh, very clear data iphone color iphone name is that about single quotes the value then so i'm i'm writing keyboard directly i'm skipping keyboard another color group thread uh, so i'm t head i'm removing them then tr see that till tr if you write then td2 a if you read it's mentioning one to 250 links so either till tr if you give you will get a total number of links in this table tr means number of rows in the table it will give and if you want even links also you can get like this total number of links you can get entire thing so that is what i did here and you can see here so tr1 
TD2A, TR2, TD2A. So the first one, TR1 means first link, TR2 means second link, like and so on and so on. So TR250 will be there. And a common XPath, I just, I can write like this. If I put TR1, it, it is not going to represent the same. It will represent the first link. So now you are getting one of 250. Here you can see the count. You can see the count here. If I give TR1, see that, now one of one, the first link it is representing. That's why I'm not restricting my rows to index one. So what I'm doing, I want all the links first into a collection. So then I can iterate, right? So that is what I'm doing here. So I'm with this XPath, I'll fetch all the links, movie links into collection directly. So I can use a driver dot find elements by dot XPath. This XPath I can give all the 250 links I can get into a list. Then I can iterate. So now I'm constructing one by one link XPath. So one by one link XPath you construct. One or two you analyze. So one or two links you analyze. So that is what here. So and I'm showing here itself practically. The first link it will show. And if you give TR2, so the second link it will recognize. If you give TR3, it will recognize third one. Right? So where it is changing, everything is fixed. Only this area it is changed. Only this area it is changing. Then it's easy our job, right? Yesterday we did already the same kind of uh, program. So now also let's code it. Same thing we'll code and we can automate. And for this use case, what I need to do is I need to fetch each link, name each link URL and each link tool tip I need to get it. Three things I need to do. I'm not validating here. I'm just fetching the data of that links. That's what I'm doing. And see that we can reuse this as much as code, okay? I'll just copy and paste it so that we can save the time. Just copy this entire code. We'll change the URLs, titles, and exports, everything. So IMDB, top 250. So give the name as a Right, IMDb top 250. So movies test. That's it. Now give the URL. URL is there in our uh, blog, or you can go and take from here because I have taken from our blog only. And open this code. So give this URL, right? Give this URL. So then the title, change the title. The title is, you can just take from here, add the tag inside, you have a title. Title is the title. Okay, so done. Now I don't need to identify a particular section. So I will note this. I want to fetch all the movie links, fetch all the top 250 movies. Movie links into collection using find elements API, and I'm using XPath here to do that. So I'll give here the collection name, I'll change top 250 
movies list and this is not a particular element i'm putting driver directly at driver dot find elements by dot x path so the x path we just copy so i'll just give this i'll remove this tr i can give so i'll remove the entire elements i am fetching now so let's remove that tr index you remove now you'll get all the rows in that table all the rows in that table you'll get it okay so now i got all the things and let me give you so these links for you so that you can also have some idea xpath so i'll give the xpath another xpath so just you can analyze here right that's why i'm giving so this one so tr1 means first link tr2 second link second movie tr3 third link this is the first link so this is the second link and this one is a third link right so now we need to parameterize this x path so open your parameters so let's parameterize that let's parameterize that and we'll parameterize that so where is changing the change is happening here double quotes plus i plus double quotes so this use this parameterization of x path you can use only when your x path is constant but only one place it is iterating the count is increasing and such cases you can parameterize this and you can pass the for loop variable and this is the how we can pass every group of elements are there you can pass right and this is starting with the uh, one only that's why we can uh, do directly this one and then so this x path you can pass directly here the parameterized x path pass so you need to pass the which the each movie name each so movie name shall give movie name movie name so you pass this x path the so same get text only if you want to get the text of any element the thing is get text method only so no change in this so you can pass name so you can see top 250 mdb movie name so you can pass so the link url movie url you can change and you can give the x path that is href only right so href only we need to use so if you want to get any link these are the links only but i have written x path here so get attribute of href again the movie name So URL is movie URL. You can pass movie URL. But this time we need to fetch the tool tip of the movie. Tool tip of the movie. You have to fetch the tool tip of the movie. So I'll catch this entire thing. So that I need that entire thing so that so here i can give so how can you get the tooltip how can you fetch the tooltip with the title attribute. title attribute we need to give it so 
and change this okay and also this for tr inside you remove the things that's it so it will execute for all of them that's it you don't need to return back all these things because you're not going back same place only you are doing this also you don't need this wait time also you don't need so this is the complete code so tooltip you can print and you can store or you can print directly right in the system dot out dot print so you can so go here and you can put one more bracket here at the end that's it so directly i printed instead of again storing in one variable and then i i printed directly you can reduce this lines of codes all this if you want to print direct value and just put it this entire thing in the so one variable that's it so now execute this and code will be executed and it will get the movie name movie url movie tooltip all three will get for every movie like that 250 links it will be handed basically analysis of html code is very important how you can construct a common xpath the first thing then how you can separate each link so if you want to separate each link the index will come the index you need to get it that's very very important so let's Here nothing action is happening, right? You can go and see the data is fetching or not. Here it has to fetch the data. Uh, expected condition failed. Waiting for title. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the one we have given wrong. I don't know. That time it gave wrong one. It failed. Timeout exception. So, the line number, how to debug this? Let me show you. People are missing this debug thing. Let me show you that. So, what is the issue? First, read from here exception in thread bin org dot open k dot cylinder timeout exception expected a condition failed waiting for title to contain imdb top rated we have given but current title is imdb top 250 imdb this is the current title and read all those things okay then come down and you can see your your class name dot method name the line number here see that this is the line number very clearly saying fluent wait wait until wait place it is failing the line number is even you click on 33 it will highlight this so this is the way the problem so the title you have given wrong that's why it is problem waited and that 30 seconds and it got timed out that's the problem so you have to figure it out then to solve that issue easily you can see that by reading the message we're not reading the message is set up. You have to read the message. See that you can go and see now see that this 
doing that. He is doing all the say every. I am just stopping this. We don't want everything, right? Just analyze 177 till we get and 120 till 120. I just stop it here. Uh, movie name William Mockingbird and this URL is this one and the tool tip is this one. That's it. Okay, so that's the simple thing. But the next one is I'm going to do a validation. So the validation is let's see that. Go here, top 35 inspirational moves. We access this URL. So this I'm going to validate each and every link in this section. So now we go here, see that top 35 inspirational moves. So this is also a table. And everything this one card and another one is another card, another card, movie related. And if you go this link, if you click on this link, it will go to individual space, a detail space, movie detail space. And movie detail space will display for us. Okay. Action still loading, I think that that's why it is not loaded. So now the detail space has come now. You can see that the detail space has displayed here. See that Dead Boys Society, and then you will get all the details of that movie, right? So this is the then I have to go back. I have to go back. Then you click on the second link, Brain Man. Again, you go back. So this, I'm going to validate this page title also. I'm going to validate this page title. And because Brain Man will be there in the detail space. Whatever the movie link I'm going to get here, here, the movie link will be your detail space title. And then I'll come back. And validate each and everything here. Again, validation is coming here, and uh, you can play around with this. A drop down is there. You can play around, play list order. Uh, so, so many popularity, whatever you want, you select. This is the one scenario you can create. And you click on this ascending order, and you can see grid view, you can see detailed view. You can check, play around with this, all these things. So, what will happen if you click on grid view? So, and you just check that right see that all it is showing in the grid and you just see the list view so you are there in the list view only right so this is the list view and this is the another format compact view so whatever you want you can just see that the format is changing or not and you can play around with this okay now so let's see here how can you identify these all links so I click inspect. First inspect, understand the structure. So each card has this due class lister content, then H3A. So this, I will start from here to here. I'll write a X path, due H3A. How many links it is going to show? Just analyze, control F and let's get started. Every card has the same structure. That's why I'll get all the links. Do square bracket. It's a class, right? At the rate class equal to the class value slash H3A. See that one, two, 36. There are 36 uh, uh, links are there. That's why one, two, 36 it is showing. So this expat represent total 36 links. 1 to 36 links. That's what we want. So all links you are getting. Then how can you uh, make it individual? So just right click. So this is the one common XPath to fetch all of the links. So common XPath to fetch all the links. That's what I have given here. So this is the common XPath to get all the links into list. Then individual thing. You just go there. It's very, very important. Just go here. Just right click. Right click. Copy XPath. In the Chrome, it will give you nicely. 
copy xpath and go to or i'll go to directly here only uh, so still not ready right let's put this here this is the xpath and analyze this is a first link xpath now let's go to take the second link so you need to catch here very very carefully and just right click here on this html e tag again copy for the second link also xpath so paste it here and see where is the change is coming and still you are not able to uh, figure it out same you do third link also same right click and copy xpath so and you can give this one now can you analyze now where the change is happening just uh, div div of index all are div of index only which div fourth fourth one fourth div fourth div is changing fourth div is changing remaining all fixed now this is the going to represent each link. Now here you need to parameterize. Here you need to parameterize. So that's what our solve problem is solved. Just copy and paste and do the same thing how we did for the LinkedIn. So you have to click and you go there and you come back and do the same code. Same code, there is no change at all, okay? There is no change at all. Same code we are doing. But here some validation you are going to do. MDB 35 inspirational movies. Inspirational movies. Inspirational movies test. Okay. So I'll give this URL. Let's give this URL. And the URL you can get from so maybe I'll copy from so this one. <clears throat> the page title. So page title you can get from it head tag. This one. Okay, so the title also I'm validating. Now, fetch all the 35 inspirational movie links into collection using find elements API. Um, 35 inspirational so i'll just put like that inspire movie list okay so i don't want to do and change this x path so we know this x path let's change this x path so i have given that x path already right and we can copy that x path so give this x path so what is this x path let's go here and we have this xpath common xpath for all links to get all the links so in this browser with this xpath how many links are there all links you will get into this collection so now individual i have already pasted here so we'll just copy paste then you can parameterize i'll cut it so i'll paste it here Okay, this. So paste it there. So you can paste and you can parameterize this X path. So the parameterization happened here. So this fourth div, one, two, three, fourth div. This is the one changing. 
so double quotes plus i plus double quotes so this is the changed portion i observed i am parameterizing that to pass my for loop i variable so the collection name i passed here then fetch each movie name and give the x path I want to get the XPath. I want to get each movie name. Is the URL I need to use? Just use this URL. So this you can give single quotes, otherwise leave it. So, but make sure you are uh, so not giving a backward slash for this for loop i variable, right? And that will create a problem. Get text and even uh, the getting the url so url also same i'm not doing any change here and uh, then i need to click on each link right i need to click on each link Oh, so I'll do one thing. I'll put a single quotes instead of this. Single quotes is the best one. Now this will keep on adding the brackets. So if you want, you can change here also. Single quotes. And so we need to click on this this link we need to click on let's click on this click on each movie click on each movie each movie link Just click on this click method and remove this uh, system dot out dot printer because click method doesn't return any value right so click so once you click it will go to next page now wait for the next page title wait dot until expected conditions so title contains so title contains you can give title what is the title you just get that title what title you need to give and the movie name we can give for that uh, thing so for example i'll click on dead poet society this movie name will come there right the movie name will come there you can see here head attack That so the movie name and iPhone IMDb, iPhone IMDb you are getting. So this is the one actual, but we are not fetching this year. So we are not fetching this year. So you can see whether year is going to come or not. Uh, go back and see based on that we need to frame this title otherwise it will fail right so only this x path whatever we have given is it representing uh, only link or what is uh, that we need to see that take this put it here x path So it is going to fetch only link name, not the year. So year means again you have a span tag here. So if you want year also, you need to give us till span. So span will fetch the only year. But link, if you want, you separately need to get if you want year again. So please understand that. Okay. Now what I need to do, I'll remove this entire thing. Okay. Anyhow, I have given title contains, right? 
So I just put a movie name. So this movie name you can put. Or you want completely on to give, you can just append this. That's it. And the span you can give and you can wait for this. Or you don't want to do this uh, wait time again. Here is not there, it might fail. And all this, it fails, we'll see that. <clears throat> Otherwise, if so, driver dot get title, get title, or a get pay source. Let me use get pay source, okay? Get pay source contains contains the movie name. If movie name is there, then you can say so the correct movie link is this way. The correct movie details page is displayed. Uh, you can say this movie name. Okay. Else you can say. Some other pages displayed. We can print that title also. What is that other one? Driver dot get title. So even get pay source also I'm using here. And then I'll come back. I'll return again. Navigate back. Back to previous page. So driver dot. Navigate method dot, sorry, navigate right. Navigate method dot, back method. So then I'll close the browser, okay? So just run this test case. So it's going, so detail space and loading. It takes some time to load the page. Right, waited there. We need to see the any issue occurred in this space. So you see that movie name it got, uh, link URL it got, and it went to next space. And I think it is struggling here in this i think wait time the page title i mean, suppose it's supposed to fail in this area yeah it failed so that poet society current title is this one okay so here it is failing so this is not work out it's not going to work out for us or you can just give just contains a movie name Directly, you can give a movie name. That's over. It will work out. Unnecessary failing, I don't want to do. Just you can do that. You can wait for this movie name title. Okay. And uh, let's run it again. So it failed. So line number also, it is clearly shows. So you can see that line number also showing very clearly. So where it is failing, line number 59. So very, very clear. This is how you need to debug and you can easily understand, okay, wait method is failing until method. And line number is very clearly so, so the issue is in this line only. That's how you need to debug. Please understand how to debug the code. This is a very, very crucial for automation tester. If you don't know, uh, understand this concept, the debugging concept is a bigger problem. And then they won't. Uh, so anybody 
is not going to accept how to debug the code uh, if you don't know. Because as automation determines, you are almost equal to developer. So you are automating the code, uh, the application. And that's why you should know how you are writing code. Where is the problem in your code? You should find out. You should tell the problem is in your code or problem is in application. So that can be done with a debugging. So analysis. So very, very important that part. So just automation is not the only thing. So the debugging part and uh, diagnosing the issue is a very crucial. So let's see here and uh, going back the next second one. The second one. Uh, what happened? I think there's some problem again. Okay, detail space is loaded. It's going back. Amen. Yes, it's doing perfectly. Right? You can just fetch this rating on all those things. You can work on that. So write an XPath, try to fetch the rating and try uh, different, different things you can try. Right, then that will improve your expert uh, uh, construction skills also. Okay, yeah. So that's it. And another one. Let's see. The next one is just stopping here. Uh, next one is I need to find the broken links in the web piece. How can you find it? Broken links in the web piece. So. Let's close all these things. So broken links, how to find? What is meant by broken links? Broken links means the link is not working. The link is uh, dead. So that's what the broken link we call that. When you click on the link, it will give you 404 piece not found exception. So that is what we need to find out. How can you find this broken links? Let me show you, take you here, uh, one uh, code I'll take here, then I'll show you. So take this, links, I don't want to write again, that's why I'm just copying these two. I'll explain you. So the code, entire code, it's what we are doing. And this is the website. 86. Okay. Change all these things. So this one we want to change broken links test. Okay. Basically, driver dot uh, exe file. I changed this. So when you access this. Right, when you access this. So I'm just commenting out this. Okay.
So when you access this link, it will show you uh, the broken link. So page not found error, you can see that. So you can see page not found, right? Uh, 404 page not found. So you can find out like this. So this kind of things you need to find out in your web page. So many links are there. So which links are throwing that error? That we need to find out. And let's see that how we can do that. So this is the one I'm going to use a status code. Based on the status code only you can find out. Every link you connect to the URL and then, and this will give us either 200 or 404. And if it is successful, it is working, 200 it will return. If it is not successful, it will return 404, not found. So that status code I need to get. And I'm going to write a simple method here, private static void verify active links. So string URL, you need to pass the link URL for this method. And there is a URL class in Java, URL UL equal to new URL and pass this URL. Then second step is, so open the connection with that URL. HTTP URL connection is a abstract class, which is equal to UL object dot open connection. So open the, that URL connection. So then connect to that URL connect to that URL, hc dot connect to method. Then fetch the, once you connect, it will give you response code. So whether the response code is 200, so there is a method get response code method in this HTTP URL connection class. And uh, you can get the message also, response message, hc dot get response message. So these two methods we're using from this uh, class and it will give you the response code. If response code is 200 and the URL is active and working fine and I'm printing the response code and response message. Else if the response code is 404 and the URL is broken, not working, response code and that is connect. That is connect to that URL. Again, it will repeat one more URL. Pass all the URLs for this method. It will find out whether that link is active or inactive. So that's how we can find out. These two are from Java. So java.net package, you can find this. In this class, we have a connect method, disconnect method, get response code, get response message methods. Then this is the Java code for building the uh, logic, right? Okay, now in the page, how can you fetch all the links? So I'm opening the browser, okay? I'm opening the browser, so but, I need to define my driver. Or if you don't want to define, but here anyway, you don't need a driver here. That's why you don't need to uh, create a global variable. So driver and driver.get, this URL I'm opening. And uh, so I can fetch this URL. Otherwise, you don't need this also. But let's see, keep it up, no problem. So fetch all the links from web page. This is also I have given in our nodes list web element link list equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name a so in this browser how many a tags are there all will come and store in this collection so for web element link colon the collection the collection i'm giving so then i'm iterating string url equal to link dot get attribute of href so each link url i am fetching and storing here if URL doesn't contain this value, okay, this value, and verify active links, URL, verify active links, and I'm passing this URL. If it is contains, and I, we are ignoring that kind of URLs, then close the browser. So this, the, this method I'm calling again here. So for this iteration, right, you will get each link uh, in this collection, how many links are there. That will repeat for all the links. That's how we can find the broken links. So let's execute this. And you can see each link URL and also link uh, is active or inactive. You can get a status. If a failed one is there, you can just see the report and you can find a bug in the Jira or any bug tracking tool or a defect tracking tool. You can find a bug.
page is not found. So, but you are, it is going to validate all the links in this web page. You can see that the report you will get here. Maybe this page title is doing some problem. That's why and this dot here, this is the one. But here it is um, some problem. Page not found. I can just give page not found. Yeah. So this is the problem here. Same 35 line. So this 35 line. I guessed it. See that parent at least not found question mark. So here a dot is there, but I'll remove uh, partially can give, okay? Partially can give so that it won't be any problem. P is not found. I'll just give this P is not found. Let's run this test this again. So this is a broken links code is a very important in the interview point of view. They'll ask you write entire code. See that this link is broken and 404 not found and this is working fine 200 okay 200 okay 200 okay one more link is broken so this one so those links uh, this this is and this and you are getting this but still it is failing class cast exception cannot cast to java.net http url connection so you don't need to pass that maybe you can just you know, continue or you can add some continue code, uh, then it will move out of that, uh, this problem. So this is how you can validate uh, these links. Line number 48, so while validating it is, it should not come this, doesn't contain I'm saying, but it is current. So I'll, I'll do one thing. If this URL, I'll do one thing. The URL contains this. You don't need to validate that. So, so validate that. So remaining things to validate. So it will go automatically and skip that. That kind of sun.net.ww.protocol mail to this one if it is there. So it will run only validate without that URLs. Validating all of them. I can put else. Otherwise, but continue won't happen here, right? If you write this, let's see what will happen. But then anyway, you are getting uh, so the broken link, uh, the URL. Basically, URLs will start with HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, so that URLs only will be validated, not other uh, URLs. So other URLs, whatever you are getting, you have to skip them. You have to skip them. And so first, print all these URLs, and then you skip all of them other urls which is not starting with http so url doesn't start with http you can skip them maybe you can put like that condition 
and npm do that. Let's see what is the issue it is going to give. Thank you. For time. Um, this time, this much time, we should not take. So we need to see what is the issue. So then we need to debug. So tomorrow we'll do that, and then I'll explain broken images. Then both. Then we'll uh, go for the next topic: cookies, how to handle, then how to take the screenshots. So this we'll see, and how to scroll the pages. So these are the small, small things are there. We'll, then we can start the JNet framework. So that's it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.